Good afternoon, gentlemen. Welcome to another video. This was going to be a little different. We're going to talk about this channel, why I started it, and what's going to happen. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to Agent J. Poole, Arden Bolden, Ben the Bartender, and many, many others who are subscribing to this channel who supported the last channel. Love you guys. Thank you very much for the support. I see your comments. I see the, the, the love. I see the support and you're going to love what's coming. Now, for some other people who are not supporters of this channel, let me go ahead and give you a message. If you feel that the only thing that is for a black man is a black woman, you probably need to just unsubscribe because you're just going to be pissed off. I am not, this is not a black channel. It is a channel that is for everyone that just happens to be ran by a black man. Let me say this again. This channel is We Are The World. It is for everyone. It is for black men, it's for white men, it's for Hispanic men, it's for Asian men, it's for men who want to be effective. It's for men who want to do something with their life, who not only want to have sex, but want to build riches, want to build a legacy, who want to start businesses. And this is some of the stuff, and it's about personal development. This is not going to happen. What happened to Disrupted Mail is not happening to this channel. It got co-opted by the black manosphere. People will come and make certain assumptions because we black. Number one, I'm black. You've never heard me use the N-word, and you never will. I hate it. I think it's stupid. So that's a big differential right there because there's a lot of black folks that use it, and they'll just approach another black person and say it as if it's cool. It's not cool. It's not welcome here. And if you use it, I will delete your comment and I will ban you. Number two, we ain't the same. We don't look the same. We don't fuck the same. We don't spend the same. We don't live the same. Once again, to the people that I mentioned before and the other supporters, you guys get it. I've been a few places y'all haven't been. So y'all are like, OK, I'm going to listen to this guy. I'm going to take note. Uh, many of you have gotten the free courses. Many of you have from the other channel, Money, Income, and Profit, you have made money. And I, I got some comments today. And this happened a long time ago. Someone told me when I was doing the Storage Sharks and stuff that when I expanded into business and other topics, they said, Glendon, your Storage Sharks and stuff is superb. You need to stay in your place. You need to stay in your lane. And today that happened again. Someone who used the term butterface because his ass can't get a fly ass white girl. Let me be 100% clear. You can't get one. I already know this hate. I've seen it on both sides. When I'm with a honey that white boys want, I see the hate from the white boys. When I'm with a honey that black dudes don't never feel that they can get, I see the hate. That comment, and I'm gonna say to you what I said to this person a long, long time ago. I think it was 2012. Fuck you. You don't tell me what the fuck I can and cannot do. Who the fuck are you to judge me? You ain't on my level, therefore you can't judge me. You don't even know where to begin to judge me. You don't even know where to start. This, like, and what I did during the stream, I just blocked the person and moved on because I was going to address it over here because that person with his funky ass is over here. You need to unsubscribe. You ain't going to like it over here, bro. I have fucked chicks. Let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about that August and the 27 chicks. The average man doesn't fuck that many chicks in five years. There are many men who have not fucked that many chicks in a lifetime. So just to, based on that accomplishment, no, you should be fucking listening to me and not trying to dictate what I'm going to do to make your low expectation ass feel better about not achieving shit. See, I, I've been through this. I've been on YouTube 10 years. I know based upon how the comments, hey, Glendon, I love your content, blah, 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 blah. But you need to stay from over here. Let me break out a news flash. I'm not a dating coach, but I can teach most of the dating coaches on YouTube many, many things. You know why I got so good with women? You know why I have so many stories and experiences? Because I was chasing that fucking money. That's why. All the things that I use to get money, I turn around and I refabricate it to get women. 
So these techniques, these processes, the dating funnel, the dream girl funnel, no one else has this shit because I created it. Many of you will say it because, see, you will look at someone and they'll look a certain way and you go, yeah, he looks like he can do it. I will say some other shit and I, I dare anyone to bring some receipt. Most, not all, but most of the dating coaches on YouTube are fucking broke. They don't make no money. They don't. This is my basement back here. This is my fucking basement back there. That's my gym. They don't have this. Uh, when I listen to certain people, I know exactly where they are in their evolutionary journey with women because I passed that shit years ago. Now, let's talk about the butterface comment. Once again, disruptive male. I have fucked threes, fours and fives. And you know what? So has your ass. You just won't say it. You'll just keep going like I only fuck sevens, man. I only put my dick in eight. I only put my dick in nines and tens. Bullshit. They ain't that many. And see, this is something else, too. Once you understand female nature by being another man, you will understand so much about women. There are many women that do not operate on how you look. Once again, there are many women. If you can make them feel warm, safe and secure, they're yours. Once again, so there are people who are younger. There are people who feel that they can pull. And you know what? Let's do this. Let me issue a challenge. You think that you can do better than me. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you a first class ticket to come to Atlanta. I'm going to put you up and we're going to go out. Let's see what you can pull. We're going to go out in my neighborhood. We're going to be around the chicks that I pull. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do. See, anybody can get a fucking hood rat or this hood shit because it's low expectations. Can you get a trust fund, baby, a woman worth millions of dollars and put your dick up in there? I have a few times. Have you? Can you get a woman based upon what you have wrote? come to your house and fuck you sight unseen done that many times have you oh you haven't wow then i guess you don't know what the fuck you talking about once again this shit that happened like uh, i'm gonna mention rom wills rom wills is a cool dude he don't mess with nobody he puts out excellent content yet the younger people who want to make a name for themselves on youtube start mentioning folks name to boost up their channel because they ain't doing shit like uh that shit right there was stupid ron don't mess with nobody ron does his thing he writes his books he runs his channel but he got called out and attacked by some wet behind the ears dude who's po you know posturing on youtube posturing that's what most of these people are doing because see i do show receipts very few people show receipts and I will continue to show receipts. I will continue to put chicks up here because see, this is what I've done. And anyone who has a comment because they feel that this should be quote a black channel and I should be bringing up some fine ass sisters. Let me tell you something. I've never liked that big fucking ghetto ass. That's just a Twinkie away from being fat. <clears throat> I've never liked it. Never been a fan. I like a nice ass, a nice proportional, nice size ass. Yeah, every man does. But this badonka dunk, the shit that they can stand up and make it clap, that is nasty to me. It always has been. I'm like, ugh, you can make your ass clap? You know how much fat that is? And there are many of you, <clears throat> you like it? Fine, you like it. That's your thing. I'm not going to judge you for liking what you like. Don't judge me for what liking what I like. Don't come on my other channel talking about what's going on over here. I've said it and I put it out many, many times. And many of you understand the code. I appreciate you guys. Don't be over there trying to flex. Don't be over there like saying, hey, you know, what's up with this and this? Unsubscribe. Unfucking subscribe. Because if you feel that you know more than me, do this. Start a YouTube channel and start talking about your experiences with women. That's the challenge because see, once again, I'm a man that puts my money on my opinions. I'll put my money on my dick any day, any day. So if you got something to say, say it on this channel. I found it very odd that someone would roll over there, probably in his house, jacking off to these pictures because understand hate is real. 
And understand that some of you who are on this channel hate me because you ain't me. I get that. I used to be a hater. I know what that feels like. And I'm going to tell you some, a message from me to you. You need to get your ass in gear and let that shit go. It ain't going to hurt nobody but you. It ain't going to hurt me. I ain't thinking about you. I, I sleep well at night. I don't even know who the fuck you are. You are watching me. I'm not watching you. You're watching my every move on Facebook. You're watching my move on YouTube. You're trying to figure out what the fuck does this motherfucker know that he's making this so much money. There's got to be a secret. There's got to be a hack. There's got to be a way. There's something he ain't telling us. I work my ass off. That's it. I outwork your monkey ass. So once again, you will be seeing white women up in the, the receipts. You'll see a few black women. You'll see Asian women. You, you, that's what you're going to see. And if you don't like it, fucking unsubscribe. Because there's going to be more of it. And once again, I'm, being, I'm designing this channel a certain way because I don't want to be part of the black man of spear. And it isn't because I'm better than the black man of spear. It's just too much bullshit that's going on over there. Just way too much bullshit. Like the shit that happened to Ron. I know why it happened. This is with a lot of young, no account, no knowledge, lack of humanity, lack of understanding, lack of masculinity. Little bitch men do. They attack other men to attempt to raise themselves. But see, there's a certain point where that just stops working. Vegan Gains. He, he's like chewing up some humble pie right now. His channel got delete it and he got it back now he's like whoa that's how he built his channel attacking people talking shit about people and then it came back on him so we're not going to talk shit about any other channel and i'm not a dating coach i mean get your fucking life together mentor i'm talking about making some money i'm talking about getting your body together like i say that's a gym back there i'm in it five seven times a week we're gonna be talking about personal development here we're going to be talking about escalating. We're going to be talking about escaping, escape velocity. We're going to be talking about just being a cool ass man, not some little single mother raised little bitch boy, because that's what a lot of stuff over there in the blasphemy is. It's a bunch of kids raised by single mothers who don't even know how to act like a man. They don't have it in them. <laughs> bitch made men and this channel, my intention is to make it blow up. My intention is to provide solid content. My intention is to help men. Not black men, but men. All men. Black men, white men, Hispanic men. Because I, I have seen what happens. I'm like, and that shit today just pissed me off. I didn't say nothing on it during my live stream. But don't come over to another channel talking about shit that happens over here. I can stop that. I can block you and I can ban you. And once again, the challenge is if you feel you can do better than me, start a channel, post multiple receipts, not just one night in the club, not one night in Vegas, not some hoes you pay for, but multiple receipts. I'll pay you 10 G's. Yeah, I'll pay you $10,000 if you can outdo me. Here, these are the terms. Start a YouTube channel. Talk about your knowledge of women. Put up at least 50 videos. You ain't going to get no 10 G's for putting up one video. Like, see, man, I did it. Pay me. Fuck you. I'm going to need to see some work. So to get your 10 G's, channel, 50 or more videos, receipts. Not one receipt, not two receipts, not three receipts, but a plethora of receipts. Then... I'm going to fly you, you, you get past that, then I'm going to fly you here to Atlanta, and we're going to go out to my side of town, which ain't the hood. Let's see how you do in that environment. Let's, let's see how you do it with real women who make money, who don't need a dude for money. Let's see how you do in that. Hmm, yeah. So whoever's up to the challenge, it's 10 Gs, you can come get it. Because you know what? And also... There's going to be some more rules once we get in there because I know someone's going to try to like because when I made this bet for Bitcoin that Bitcoin was going to go down last year I had a whole bunch of people wanted to get in the bet. But when I started mentioning that, uh, yeah, you need to have ten thousand dollars like now so we can put the money in escrow 
and then when whatever happens who wins gets the money immediately cut that out so you're gonna have some work to do brah I want to see receipts. I want to see copious receipts. Because see, this is the thing. I'll tell you a little funny story. On Craigslist, I used to get people who would catfish me all the time. I have been, people have attempted to catfish me so many times. I can tell by the first photo if it's bullshit. So this is going to be a very big challenge. If you man enough, you bad enough. Because see, we, we're not going to have all this talking and bullshitting in the comment sections. Anyone who comes at me with this butterface bullshit, with this I can do better bullshit, I'm going to press your ass to prove it because I, I can't remember his name, but there was someone on Disrupted Mail who disagreed with some of my philosophy. And I said, start a YouTube channel. He never started a YouTube channel. He was like, yeah, I'm going to start one. I'm going to start one. He kept saying, I'm going to. I'm fin to. I'm about to. I'm on my second channel. He still ain't started a channel. Put it bluntly. I have forgotten about more chicks than you ever will fuck. And that's that's just truth. I have forgotten about more chicks than you will ever fuck. And this all came because I was out here trying to get money. This all came because I started the business because everything started from the business. I mean, anybody can get some pussy. But getting the right kind of pussy, getting the pussy that you want that's very fucking different. And I am at a point where I will not date a cashier. I don't care how cute she is. I'm not going to date some chick who don't make no money. Done that, been there. Well, all of a sudden they come over here and they'd be like, oh, they start trying to nest. They start trying to fucking move in because they don't have shit. I am not going to date someone who doesn't have shit. I am not your fucking daddy. I'm not daddy. I'm not a sugar. I ain't doing that shit. Oh, and one more thing for the challenge. You need to send me receipts of fucking 15 women in one month. That's going to knock a lot of that bullshit out of there. 15, so, which is half of what I've done in one month. So if, if you're going to come at the king, you better not miss. You take your shot. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to create... A legacy here we're going to do things that i wanted to do on another channel but i couldn't because i understand that youtube is changing and now i know exactly what i can do here and what i can't i can't do a lot of stuff here that's why i'm going to create the dark side where you know for people who want to be dominant men i'm going to teach you how to be a dominant man like step by fucking step we'll do that we'll talk about how to do personal development step by step um I got like this workout that I'm doing. I just started it, so I can't really talk about the results, but you know, six weeks, two months down the road, we'll see what it looks like. I'll talk about that. We are here because we want to be effective men. That's the community that I want to build. That's the community I'm building. I'm not building this bitch stuff because how many of you have seen your boy or, um, your dude or someone you know and their wife and they wasn't that cute. Did you go up to like, man, your bitch ugly. Did you say that? Did your monkey ass say that? No, you were like, hey man, that's a nice wife. That's what most people do. Most people. Because like I said, that shit ticked me the fuck off. So whoever your little bitch ass is, you've got a challenge. I expect you to be a man. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, another thing. You, you can't do your YouTube channel under an avatar you must show your real face you must show real receipts you must show where you live what you drive you need to put all that out there see because i know how people like to fake stuff so you you need to put some receipts up here i put up a receipt up there and everybody was like blown away that girl she's from brazil she ain't no butterface. she stacked she stacked like a, a nice can of she just stacked. She stacked like a brick house. It's incredible how she's built. But once again, and I put that up there when the person was making the butterface comments. I'm just sitting there like the jealousy's already started. And see, this tells me that I have to be careful because I already have haters on here. And this channel ain't even that big yet. And they will come. I'm ready for that. 
the hence the challenge so if you feel you can do better than me do it prove it don't say it show it don't tell show it because we're not going to get caught up in the bullshit here there's a lot of men that who are going to be helped by this information there are many many who will appreciate this information and there are some sad face suckers who are going to be all up in their feelings like kiki on the drake song because they can't figure it out because they're sorry lazy set no goals have low expectations and thinking fucking the big booty hood rat is doing some shit let me see you fucking millionaire let me see you go to brazil and get the fine brazilians the ones <clears throat> up on the mound not these little poor country girls riding on a goat let me see you pull one of them then i'll be impressed Cause you ain't getting up there. They ain't gonna fuck with you. They ain't fucking with you. They may fuck with me. Cause when I go to Brazil, I don't stay down there. I'm like up at the top of the mountain. I'm in the finest hotel. They like, oh. So <clears throat> there's a, a whole bunch of bullshit that's going on right now. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, the red pill, the MGTO space, YouTube's cleaning the house. And what y'all gonna do is whine. None of you are going to set up your own websites. None of you are going to learn how to direct traffic. You're just going to keep whining and complaining in your, in your coffee like a little bitch. While I'm going to have my dark side, I'm going to have my YouTube channel. It's all going to be shining. I'm going to be making money. Because see, living well is the best revenge. Being well, being healthy, being happy. Because see, I have a home. I have a family. While you sitting at home talking about me too for life. Let me tell you something. One day you're going to get old. I don't care how cool you are. I don't care how many six packs you have. One day you're going to get old. And you could be in perfect shape with a six pack at 65, but your ass still 65. Most women going to like, oh, he's nice, but he's 65. That's going to happen. You live long enough. So what are you going to have then? You better have some game. You better have a situation. You better have some style. You better have some grace. Because a lot of this bullshit on YouTube ain't coming to my house. I'm going to nip it in the bud. We're, we're not going to have these long, drawn-out conversations with some faceless, nameless coward who doesn't even have enough self-respect to have a good name or to have their own picture in their thumbnail. I ain't fucking with you. You ain't nobody. You ain't shit. You don't have shit. And more than likely, you're never going to have shit because that's why you're so jealous. That's why you're such a hater this video a few times because uh I, I i will say you you good thing you didn't have the courage to uh express yourself over here and I, i'm probably gonna start getting thumbs down because that's the only power you fucking have it's the thumb down the video because you don't have no fucking power in life you don't have the power to chart your own fucking economic destiny you don't have the power to get the chicks you want you don't have the power to get the, the live where you want only power you have it. I'm going to thumbs down. Yeah. Mm. I did something. With your weak ass. All right. This was fun. Probably going to start another channel just so I can talk shit. Because I, I felt good today. This is the second one today. I, I like this. I'm thinking I'm enjoying this. Because I know with the challenge that I put out that few to none are going to step up to it. Because there's a few things, once again, real name, real channel, 50 videos, proof that you fucked 15 chicks in one month, proof. Because see, I know a lot of you good looking guys, y'all can get two or three, I can get four, you can't get 15, you want to know why? You don't have the fucking time. How do I know this? Because I used to be you, I used to have a job, I used to go to work, come home tired, feet hurt back hurt we'll go to sleep maybe get some pussy from my wife wake up and do that shit all over again and then on the weekends oh shit i work weekends same old same old all right gentlemen hopefully this has been entertaining i enjoyed making it <laughs>